Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a get ready with me using new products. Um, some of these are not exactly new in the market, however I haven't tried them out in a while or they I just bought them. So um, hope you guys like this video and let's get started. Alright, so I just zoomed you guys in a little closer, that way you could get a closer look at some of the products and what I'm putting on my face. So uh, the first two products are primers, however I didn't buy a new primer so I'm just going to show you what I'll be using. The first one is the NYX Honey Do Me Up um, primer and I put that first and then on the areas where I have pores like around my nose, my forehead and on my cheeks I use the Poreflexional Matte Rescue by Benefit. So I mix these two together. Then I go in with the Benefit Pore Professional Matte Rescue and I just place that onto my T-zone. Alright, so my camera just died and I look crazy. I did my brows, I primed my eyelids and I put some tape alongside here because I decided I wanted to do eyeshadow next. Uh, so for my eyebrows, I did um, outline them with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Black. And then I filled them in with the Anastasia Granite Brow Powder Duo. And I used to use this shade quite often, but I branched off to this kind of gray, grayish tone. Um, just because it kind of suits my lighter hair better. And to lighten it up a little bit more, I go in with the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volume in Soft Brown. Um, just a brow gel. And it kind of looks funky. It has a really weird wand. It's like really flat there and it has like spikes along there. It kind of looks a little funky, but it really keeps my brows in place for the rest of the day. Next, I'm going to go in with the new... Well, it's not really new, but I just bought this, the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. Kristen Dominique is one of the uh, YouTuber influencers who I love. I love watching her videos, and she inspires me to do a lot of looks. So this is what her palette looks like. It's very beautiful. It has your warm tones down here, a few shimmers, and a little bit of pops of color. I'm just going to use um, BH Cosmetic brushes, not really picky when it comes to brushes, and I'm going to go in with Vanilla Cream, and I'm just going to set my eyelids. I'm going to use this palette to use as a mirror. My second shadow I'm going to go in with is Caramel. Oops, let me go this way. Caramel, which looks like this. It's just a really pretty light transition color. I'm going to buff that into my crease. Now the reason why I put tape here is because after I will take it off and it will create a nice line. And now I go in with the Morphe M433 brush which is kind of dirty but I'm going to go in with Pumpkin Spice which is a nice orange color. a lot of these colors. I'm going to go in kind of go in with hazelnut and mocha as well. So hazelnut and mocha which are the two darkest shades in the palette using the same brush as well. Go in again with a fluffy brush, go in with caramel and blend out the rest. So I zoomed out and I completed the other eye doing the same process as the last clip and um, I applied some eyeliner as well. I don't have a new eyeliner but I'll just share with you. I'm using the Tarte Tartiste eyeliner and on one side it has a felt tip and on the other side it has a pencil. So for mascara, this is an oldie but a goodie but I haven't used it in many 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 years. So I just picked this up and it's a Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Mascara. 
I love this before um, and I want to try it again and this is in waterproof just because I want it to stay on my lashes for a long time and not smudge so I already curled my lashes and I'm going to apply the mascara um, I don't have much lashes However, I could see a little bit of it. This is with no mascara and this is with mascara. I will move on to the other eye and apply a second coat and we will see how it goes. All right, so off the bat, I could see it is going into my eye in chunks. Like, look at that. I just blinked and it's going into chunks. This is two coats and this is one coat so I think it's doing a great job with my lashes however the transfer is ridiculous it's just going into my eye not so bad so it looks good again going into my eyeballs <laughs> I forgot to put this on earlier but this is the I don't know if you could see it Laneige lip balm which is very famous at the moment and I got this one in oops in vanilla and I have a mini teeny tiny one in the strawberry flavor super super tiny I'm gonna make sure that my lips are moisturized I should have done this first which I normally do all right um I think I prefer the strawberry one a little bit more than the vanilla, but it's okay. It's all does the same stuff. Now what I'm going to go in with is this NARS um, Super Radiant Booster in the shade, oh gosh, Isola Rosa? Isola? Isola? Rosa? And it only comes in one shade, but it's basically like a rose gold um, Super Radiant Booster. It's kind of like a highlighter. Um, I see a lot of makeup artists, a lot of YouTubers use this. And let me just show you. So this is the shade. It will focus. I'm going to place that onto my hand. Ooh. Super beautiful rose gold. Sh rose gold. Rose gold shade. So I'm going to actually place it. I think this is supposed to be under your... Um, foundation. So I'm going to place it onto the areas where I normally would put highlight on. I'm going to pop that onto my, wow, it's beautiful, onto my cheekbone. Do you see that? That's beautiful. And onto, just putting a little dime size, onto my cheekbone and just kind of buff it in. That way through my foundation, um, it will have a nice glow to it. This is a foundation that I have not used yet. I've had the, I bought this a while ago, but I haven't um, had the opportunity to try it out yet. So I am excited to try it. This is in True Beige, and this is a Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation by NYX. And I am hoping that it is my shade because I got this um, after I came back from Panama. So it might be a little tan, but we can make it work. I'm going to use my Black Beauty Blender and buff that in. Okay, the shade matches very well, actually. Zoom you guys in a little closer. This is what my skin looks like up close. Okay. So far I like it. Um, we'll see how it looks like throughout the day. Whoops. So next up, we are going to go in with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade and this is what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. 
Um, the shade looks very light, so I don't know how that will go. Super white, especially inside, but it's more yellow in the tube. So we're going to apply that like so under my eye, up a little bit onto here on the bridge tip, cupid bow, and on my chin. So I go in with my beauty blender and blend everything out. I just pounce it onto my face. So that looks pretty good. I look very washed out in this camera. Um, let's see from back here. Yeah, I look pale. All right, that's no problem. We will fix that. I'm going to go in with my favorite Fit Me um, Maybelline Loose Powder in Fair Light. Tap that onto the lid and I'm just going to place that under my eye. I look like I have a mask on my face. But in person, it's not that bad. <laughs> For powder, I... Oops. Oh my god. For powder, I'm going to go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth in the shade Light. And this is just my favorite powder because it just makes everything look so nice and crisp. For bronzer, I'm going to try out the Becca and Chloe Malika palette made by Malika. So this is a darker sh palette. And I'm going to try going in with this bronzer. It looks a little bit red toned but you will see because they're baked bronzers so they give off a nice sheen to the face These blushes are beautiful. I'm going to go in with these two. I might just mix it in. Now you could see. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite highlighting brush, which is the setting brush by Real Techniques. And I'm going to try out a new highlighter by Wet n Wild and this is in the shade Earth and this is their new Shimmer Brick and it looks like a beautiful, beautiful color. This is part of their Zodiac line. So pretty. Beautiful shade. So I'm excited to try that on onto my cheekbones. Wow, that is so beautiful. I personally like to take a little bit onto my forehead, just a little bit on the sides. That looks stunning. Now I'm going to go in with the other side. Yes. So pretty. Put a little bit on my nose, just the tip and the bridge, just a bit. This is a new highlight also by Wet n Wild called I'm So Lit. And it looks like it's a loose highlighter, so it's something that you need to be careful with. And this just has chunks of sparkle and shimmer on it. So as you can see here, this is Earth and this is I'm So Lit. So it has a lot more glitter and shimmer. So I'm going to put just a pop and pop it just on the top to give it a little bit more oomph. Just on the tip of my cheekbones. All right, last but not least are my lips. So I'm gonna go in with the Bite um, Lips, sorry, Bite Lip Liner in the shade 20, 020. I don't think there's a shade, it's just called 20020. And I'm just going to outline my lips. And I'm going to try two new lip colors. 
This is the Rimmel London Shea Satin Liquid Lipstick in the shade As If. And this is what the pretty shade looks like. It's just a nice nudie pink. Okay, this lip color looks beautiful with this look. And I'm going to lastly go in with the Wet n Wild. Um, 940B Caught On You Bare Naked um, Liquid Cat Suit Lipstick. So I like their liquid lipstick, and this is just a lipstick, and it's just a very sheer light nude gloss that I'm just going to pop in the middle. So this is the finished look. I'm going to go in with my um, NYX. Dewy setting spray, and I'm just gonna lock and mist everything up. All I'm soaking is this easy fan. Loved pretty much everything that I placed on my face. Um, maybe I'll take you guys with me and see how it lasts throughout. The day um, I will be going to Aga Con, which is like where my youth group will be going today, and we'll see if this makeup will last throughout the day. So I'm gonna go in for a closer zoom in so you guys can see the whole look. So this is what my skin is looking like with the bronzer and the blush and the highlight. My eyes. I think it looks really good. Um, I love the eyeshadows, they blend it out very nicely. Um, the lips look so nice. So I'm back for my update. Um, I decided to do a little update to see how my makeup held up. Um, the time that I finished my makeup was around 12.35 and right now it is 9, 9 11. If you could see that, it is 9.11. Uh, so I've had my makeup on for approximately 9 hours, if I'm doing the math correctly. And my makeup held up so well. So I will zoom you guys in. Lighting is not the greatest here, but as you can see, my lip color has came off. Um, it is starting to separate around my nose, just because I took a mini nap. Um... Here my T-zone is getting a little oily, but my eyes still look intact. Like there are no creasing, no nothing with the eyeshadow, and bronzer, blush, and highlight are there. Um, highlight's starting to disappear a little bit, but it's still there. Sorry about my appearance. Um, yeah, and my mascara actually did not smudge at all throughout the day, and the concealer held up as well. Um, I think one thing that I would like to, let me zoom you guys out, one thing I would like to focus more on next time is the NARS Super Radiant Booster. Maybe I'll do it on a more not so glam makeup look. Maybe I'll just pop it when I have like a little bit of tinted moisturizer and just pop this on top or something. Um, so I'll have to try this out again. Now if you have any other video suggestions, just let me know and I'll see you guys later. Bye.